might say, Con might say, Con might say, Con. Hello and welcome to day eight of the Concrete and Gold album run through track by track. We are on Happy Ever After Zero Hour. Now this song is absolutely beautiful. I love this song. So when I first heard it, I thought I have to, I was on the bus, so I didn't have a guitar, but I thought as soon as I'm getting home and working out this, it, I had to just work out the song because it's, it's amazing. Um, and I think, I don't know who uh, writes, the, I think Dave Grohl writes the songs, right? But I think they all get credited um, with it, but I don't, I don't know how they write. I, I presume Dave Grohl sits and writes with a guitar and writes the lyrics and brings the song to the band. I'm guessing if you know, feel free to write in the comments um, if you know how the Foo Fighters uh, write their songs. But anyway, it's probably his genius, isn't it? It's probably the genius of Dave Grohl. Um, but the so I'm not going to teach you the song. I'm gonna I'm gonna whiz through it. If you can keep up, you will learn the song. Uh, but I'm not going to talk you through. I want to like analyze analyze the song and uh, talk about it from a songwriting perspective. So it's in the key of F sharp major. And the chords are just so nice. Um, the first progression is, so F sharp major, um, imagine if you're descending through that scale. So the verse does that descension from F sharp, F, D sharp, and then goes to B. So these are all notes in the F sharp major scale. And then it goes to the minor on the B. And then back up. Just a nice, beautiful sort of major sound and then it goes to E so the next chord is a, a, a type of uh, E major but it's got the F sharp in there and the E is not in F sharp major it's not in the scale of F sharp major so this subtly transitions the song I think into D major there's a nice little subtle key change you don't really notice. So after the after the E, then goes to A, which again. So A is in the key of F sharp major, but it's a seventh. So that is a seventh because you're playing the open G. Um, and then it goes into D. Now D is not in the scale of F sharp major. So that's Definitely changed key by then, but I think it changes key when he goes to E. So then it starts again. Then the bit. Where is your Shangri-La now? And that's F sharp major and B minor. So usually the the B when it's it played in the scale of the key of the song is in F sharp major, then the B is usually a major. But you can make it a minor, and it is it's made it a minor there. And that's why the melody uh, sort of has that has that minor note in it, the D, as opposed to the C sharp. That's really nice. And then that, then he uses the E and the A again that we came across at the end of the verse. And by this time, I think the key of the song is in D major. And then, I don't know if you can call it the chorus, I guess it's the chorus. There ain't no superhero. very Beatles isn't it so the whole song's got a kind of Beatley vibe to it 
Um, definitely when the uh, lead guitar starts doing the solo, um, after doing like, the first verse and the chorus, it sounds very Beatles-esque. D and then E minor as opposed to major. I mean, those chords are just brilliant. I just, I love them. The chords are just brilliant, and the melody and the lyrics. It's a really, really good song. One of my favourites on the album. So after this chorus in D major, it goes back into uh, F sharp major again. And so on. So that's all for today. Tomorrow you can enjoy my cover version of Sunday Rain, uh, which on the record Paul McCartney drums on. Um, so yeah, I got that to look forward to tomorrow. So hope to see you then. Drop a like if you like this video, subscribe to my channel, tell all your friends, share and be happy. Con might say, con might say.